Hey guys, it's me, Mitch, doing another LEGO Star Wars 2013 set review. Today I'm going to be reviewing set 75004 Z95 Headhunter. It's ages 8 to 14 and has 373 pieces. And uh, three minifigures. Pong Krell, a 501st clone pilot, and a 501st trooper. And, of course, this set costs $49.99 US. I did pick this up at the LEGO store yesterday, so let's take a look at the box first. You got a nice action shot of the set, and then your minifigs down at the bottom, along with the Yoda logo at the top. And on the back, you've got the play features, a couple of action shots, and a diagram of the Z95 Headhunter. So, uh, there's the box, guys. Now I'm just going to show you really quick the instruction manual. This is a really big instruction manual. Really big. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna break back a bit there. Yeah, you can see how big that is. Um, what interesting stuff is there? Well, once you finish the 55 pages of building, it's only that long because there's some repetition to it. So they just put times to it in and they have you flip back. Then there's also that code there, the parts inventory. Then you get this page with really nice sized pictures of the sets no picture no page of the minifigures but you do get the advertisement for that survey where you can win um then you also get a pretty cool a pretty good assortment of spare parts in this set um first up you get so i'm just gonna bring all of them in here let me just uh grab all these pieces there we go you do get a brick separator in this set, which is really nice. And then you get two of these tan pieces. Technic. Um, one of these blue Technic pieces. Two of these black Technic pieces. This red Technic piece. This yellow Technic piece. A white staff, which is really cool. I do like that piece. Three gray studs. And a lightsaber hilt. So now that we're done with all that stuff, let's move on to your uh, mini figs. Just gonna... There we go. First up, we have the long-awaited and very awesome, totally lives up to all that hype, Pong Krell minifigure. This is just really epic. Um, he has his two double-bladed lightsabers. One is green, one is blue, which is accurate, of course. And then he, here is the Pong Krell minifigure itself. Very awesome, detailing on the uh, head there really nice and then the head and the upper torso are all one piece so those have two of his that has two of his arms very nice um molded and printed details on there and then we've got a continuation of the detailing on the torso and the legs as well so uh yeah very awesome oh there is back burning just so you know but it's mostly covered up by the upper piece. I'm just going to give you a really close up look at that uh, head. Very awesome. So uh, that is like the best Star Wars minifigure ever made in my opinion. Really nice. There's a close up of his legs. So there's Krell. Now on to the 501st Legion clone pilot. Really liking the new helmet sculpt on this figure. Um, very nice. Got some really good printing details on there. Just a really great figure. Normal clone head. And then the basic clone trooper season 4 slash season 5 type torso print with the pilot breathing apparatus on there. So um, then we've got just the nor just normal trooper back printing. And uh, yeah, that's really awesome. Really nice figure. And then finally, we have a 501st Clone Trooper. Now, if you remember, the 501st Trooper did also come in the ATRT, so you get two of those if you buy one of it, all the sets. So that's really cool. Um, got a nice helmet there. Again, no holes, which really isn't that good, but oh well. Got the normal clone face, same, just the exact same figure as the one in the ATRT. Um, so I'm just going to clear these figures out of the way for now. 
And let's move on to the Z95 Headhunter itself. I'm just going to take the camera off its stand and uh, give you a nice overall look of that. Um, so, uh, on the front here, you've got some nice details. Um, and just really smooth and stuff. And the cockpit, um, if I can get this to. There we go. Uh, so that opens up like that, and there's a sticker control panel in there. You can take your uh, clone pilot, just uh, sit him down in there, nice and easily. So that looks really cool. Um, and then uh, I'm just going to point out the rest of the stickers. There's a sticker right here, sticker right here, here, here and here. So not a ton of stickers in this set. I wish they had done a little bit less stickers, but not bad. Um, not a big deal. Uh, so the engines have some really nice details and so do the uh, wings themselves. Very cool. Got some little cannons there. Then there's an op this part opens up and you've got a little thing here with binoculars for the pilot and a blaster for the trooper, of course. And you're probably thinking, why is that sticking up? Well, I'm going to show you. Actually, first, let me show you. Got some nice greebling on the uh, back there, which if you don't know, that's really really tiny details. And what just fell? That doesn't sound good. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay. Um, everything's fine, thankfully. So on the bottom of the set here, let me just uh, turn this over. There's this little black knob here. What you do is, you pull this, you pull it back, and what it does is it moves this missile launcher here down, so if you do it fast enough, hold on guys, I keep knocking the camera there, there we go, and it launches that missile. Now, it would go really far, but I had my setup right there, my background right there, and then you just slide that missile right in, it's the normal humongo missile. Then you've got some uh, folding landing gear under here, so you can just fold that up. Uh, pretty sure it like folds up like yeah, it folds up like this. Oops, <laughs> that fell off. Sometimes landing gear, the foot part falls off sort of easily, so but not a big deal. And then it just goes. <laughs> so uh. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much the whole set. Um, really great set. Highly recommend it. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's that's not a good price. 373 pieces, $50. That's not good. Mm. It's totally worth it, guys. I mean, the set, look how big that set is. It looks like, like, it looks like a 500-piece set. It feels like a 500-piece set. You get three awesome minifigs, especially that Krell minifig. Oh, my gosh. Such a good minifigure. Um, and then you get that awesome cannon feature, which kids are going to go insane over. I know that. Um, so, uh, yeah, totally worth it. So, uh, that's it for this review, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to favorite. Also, stay tuned for more videos. And, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.